Hello guys, today we learn how to consume web API using HTTP client with Postmate. For this we have required Visual Studio 2015 and for proceed we must need a web API URL. So let us see, consider we have a client web API to post the record like web API URL you can see HTTP localhost API imply add. And also you must need to know method name like post and parameter given by the client like object as a JSON format. I need to pass the parameter as a JSON format. And here you can see I have using here HTTP client. So achieve this we need to consider two simple steps. First make a SVX page to consume and for this json parameter need to make a class for this json let us see open visual studio go to file new and website here i have take sp.net empty website name of the website like consume web api and click on ok so our web application has been created now need to make one web page so add add new web form and name of this page consume post dot xpx and click on add so you can see here one page has been created and there is this is design and this is your source now i have to create pass three parameters so i have designed three text box to passing the parameters like you can see i have three text box like imply id imply name and there's really there is one submit button and there is one on click submit so go to design and click on submit so submit button method has been created this will fire upon button submit click okay now i have to write the one class so already i have defined class so copy and there imply class is created and there public property imply id name and salary now i have to write code here to consume so txt imply id dot text txt mp name and their salary here i have write one method consume web api dot wait and emp is the parameter with imply object which will be passed so i have defined one method consume web api so need to define definition of it go here implement this method like here so you can check here like i have defined where client equal new http clients client dot base address equal to new uri localhost means base url of the web api and default i have defined Client dot default request header dot accept clear and client dot default header dot accept dot add new media type HTTP quality header with define application JSON and string content because I need to pass JSON format so I have defined string content string content JSON convert dot serialized object EMP and encoded EMP coding dot utf8 and application js after define you have defined system dot net service providing manager dot security protocol equal security protocol or ssl3 and then after that you have passed like where response await client dot post tracings method and define the method name like api imply add string content which is parameter and i have defined dot configure await dot false 
and after that after that i have write a code this one dot nco success status code if this one dot is status code equal to true then we get the result like it will successfully inserted or not that will give the response but you can see there is some underlying red color so need to add namespace for this like go talks and this is required system trading talks and also there is http client also need a namespace for this so first need to add library for this http client go to tools browse and this this one or this one you can use both click on installs I also need to add this like microsoft.net http so install it now click and you can get system.net http so name will be as will be added also there is required media quality namespace system.net http headers there's one also need required json newton soft json so also need to add newton soft newton soft json click on install right. now you can see your namespace has been added all which are required now you can see newton soft json for serialization system system.net system.net dot http and system.net dot http headers and system dot text and system dot trading dot docs for await method so i have need to run this application before running this our web api also will be in running mode so first you have to click on our web api to run the web api applications in the case of client web api we need to we need not to run the client web api because you're already in already production environment now go to your consume applications our edge consume web api so now in need i need to run these applications you can see there is employee id name sally name and sally when we click on this our data will be saved in the web api let us see our api table first there is empty now go to this put employee id 101 name adam sally 20 and click on submit button after clicking submit button this up now need to run line by line using the f10 i have like i press f10 so our data will be assigned in emp object you can see now like name imply id and imply salary now here is our consume method so run one by one like client base address client and here string content which will pass through header and it is like in json format okay now see one thing that you put it which is very important this is web web api so you can see in web API data will pass and this will be saved in database after saving database you get the result like response like status code 200 fresh okay and then after that 
if you respond is success true then you get the result like employee id 101 name adam sally 2 tk has been added into database one thing point to be noted here i have defined configure await so let us understand why we use configure await see here since when we are using dot result or wait or await this you will end up causing a deadlock in our code of spx pages without this it will give the result in console application due to no context in the console application so if you are using sp.net pages or mbc then need to apply the configure await false in async method for preventing dead like dead like deadlock like this where response await client post async and configure await false when we can use configure false whenever possible for donut block async code so if you can see here our code will pass the data to web api and parameterization format and this data will receive in client machine database so you can learn here how to we learn how to consume web api with http client with push method thanks for watching if you want to view more videos Please subscribe my YouTube channel.